cryo-EM or cryogenic electron microscopy is a microscopy technique that lets you see molecules at near atomic resolution. Despite the fact that it's grown extremely popular over the last few years, it's really only being used to study rigid, static molecules. However, in reality, most of the molecules in our cells often are constantly moving and undergoing conformational change in order to perform their function. But so far, no one has been able to computationally leverage the information in cryo-EM to visualize these molecules in motion. And this prevents us from studying the dynamics of these macromolecular machines. So in collaboration with the MIT Abdul Latif Jamil Clinic, or J Clinic, for machine learning and health, we've created the first deep neural network capable of extracting these molecular motions from cryo-EM data. And in doing so, reconstruct 3D models of these molecules in motion. It's called CryoDragon, which stands for Deep Reconstructing Generative Networks. With this tool, we're able to reconstruct 3D models of the molecules, as well as visualize the motions of these molecules. So we applied our tool CryoDragon to a number of synthetic data sets to validate that it worked, as well as a couple of real data sets of the ribosome and the spliceosome. So these are large macromolecular complexes that are responsible for processing genes into their final protein products. We discovered molecular motions in these complexes that we had not seen before. CryoDragon is freely available online and anybody can use it. Even before our study was officially published, we received numerous requests from labs around the world, which I think just really highlights the need in the structural biology community for tools for analyzing and extracting the motions in these dynamical protein structures. This is the first time deep learning has been used in cryo-EM reconstruction, and we hope that with this technique, we can actually reconstruct the molecular motions and be able to understand new protein structures, even molecules that we thought we understood really well.